We revealed on the show, I guess it was last month, that football legend Ray Lewis would be coming to Pocomoke City for Doc Jam this weekend. But Ray Lewis doesn't really have any Delmarva connections in his life. Yeah, no, he, actually he grew up in Florida, mm -hmm. but he played his entire 17-year NFL career with the Baltimore Ravens on the Western Shore. But that lack of Delmarva connection is not stopping Jim Duffy of Secrets of the Eastern Shore. How are you, sir? I'm good. It is good to see How you. How are you? Yeah. Yeah, so you're here today to weave through centuries and wade through oceans in search of a link between the peninsula and the greatest linebacker of all time. So, so set the stage for us. We've all told some ridiculous stories here on Throwback Thursdays. Mm -hmm. This might be the most ridiculous <laughs> one of them all. <laughs> well, this ought to be interesting. <laughs> okay. All right. So this, this was People will remember the 2012 Baltimore Ravens season Living because yeah. it ended in a Super Bowl triumph right. against the 49ers. That team, like every team that wins a Super Bowl, had a lot of challenges during the course of the season. One of those challenges in October against the Dallas Cowboys, their star linebacker, Ray Lewis, uh, tore his triceps. Mm -hmm. It's his last season, he's getting older, it's very sad, but he miraculously comes back in two months and returns for the playoffs and closes his career with the Super Bowl triumph. Now what people might not remember is that in the middle of that uh, comeback, there was a huge controversy, front page news, New York Times, broadcast networks, um, in which there was an accusation that he had taken an illegal dietary supplement in order to help his recovery. All right. All right. All right. And that, let me segue to a guy who was born during the Civil War I was getting in ready Dorchester to ask, County. This somehow leads to a guy born in Dorchester County during it does. the Civil War. It does. His, okay. All right, his, name was, Go ahead. his name was Clement Henry, and uh, he became a big businessman, very rich. And you get to the 19 teens, he's getting a little older, and uh, he does what rich guys do and spends his money on something completely bizarre. He goes over to Europe, across the Atlantic Ocean, and he buys exotic animals, like we would buy some strange lizard from Australia today, or a python, or something like that. Um, and these animals are Japanese deer, and he brings them back across the Atlantic Ocean to Dorchester County. He puts them on an island he owns that really no longer exists, and he puts them out there. Now, why does he do this? It could have been... He wants to get his granddaughter some cute little exotic <laughs> animal. More likely it was an environmental thing because at that point we had nearly hunted out of existence our white-tailed deer. And several rich people, not just Henry but several others, bought islands and put deer out there so that they could kind of hunt them in sustainable ways and keep hunting even though there weren't any very many deer on the mainland. Right. And that's where our sick of deer come from. Sick of deer. Okay, okay. Our sick okay. deer so, so come from there. Oh, Ray I'm sorry, Lewis. Ray Lewis. You were talking about Ray Lewis. I'm sorry, Ray Lewis. Lewis. No, Ray Lewis. Ray Lewis. Somewhere. The what? controversy, the illegal supplement that he supposedly took to help him recover. Okay. It was called deer antler spray. Sick of deer were not just from Japan. They were also in ancient times in China and Korea. But before they were hunted out of existence, they became a big deal in Chinese medicine. They were called plum dust, plum blossom deer in China. And when the deer are young, there's like a fuzz on their antlers, right. and they would scrape off that fuzz and they would turn it into a pill or a powder that was an aphrodisiac in honor of the hyperactivity of the male Sika deer. <laughs> but it was also a uh, something to help your muscles get stronger and repair. So Chinese medicine remains a big deal today. Right. And if you search the internet for deer antler spray, you will find it. And that is the supplement that Ray Lewis was accused of taking. He was never convicted or penalized or anything like that. The perfect ending to this story for me, I'm making this up, is for Ray to come here on Saturday and say, 10 years have gone by, nobody can punish me anymore. I really did take the deer antler spray, and I'm here to thank the sick of deer for my closing out my career with a Super Bowl triumph. What Ooh. do you think? Is that going to happen? Yeah, we need to make that phone call, don't we? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I told you it was going to be ridiculous. Oh, my God. That's no. It just, it just it was just a long journey. Atlantic, Pacific, centuries, but we got it. We There's got a connection it. between the Ravens Super Bowl triumph in 2013 Whew. and our peninsula. All right. Sick thank you deer so much. Antler spray. <laughs> now I want some. <laughs> we'll see you next week, Thanks. Jim. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs>